Vancouver Island kids who are diagnosed with cancer usually have to go to Vancouver for treatment, which can be scary and a stressful time. But the Island Kids Cancer Association is here to help with families both during treatment and after they return home. Tess Van Stratton takes a look at how IKCA is making a difference in this week's Vital People. 15-year-old Marissa was diagnosed with a fast-growing cancer in December of 2019, right before the COVID pandemic hit. It was the size of my fist in my chest cavity, pushing my lungs and heart out of place, so it was difficult to breathe. Marissa was treated at BC Children's Hospital and spent almost a year in Vancouver before being able to return home to Victoria to continue treatment at Victoria General. It's really changed my uh, outlook on life. After chemo, I have a lot more sympathy for others, and I can connect with others who have been through a lot as well. Throughout this scary and challenging time, Marissa and her family are getting support from the Island Kids Cancer Association, or IKCA, which helps families during treatment and after they return home. There really wasn't anything for families when they returned back to the island. Most of their treatment was done in Vancouver, and then they were kind of just left to flounder when they got back here. We support those families when they get back, so they have that sense of community and they have that support. Connecting families to programs like Power to Be, so they can take part in outdoor activities in a safe location. Providing healthy produce boxes in winter for families who need it. Special visits from the Chalk Art Ferry on birthdays, prized retreats after treatment, and much more. I think it's really important that they exist because a lot of families can benefit from them and the support they provide, like they even provide counseling for those who have been through like lots of trauma. To help raise funds for its programs and the more than 150 families they're helping, IKCA is having its first ever golf tournament August 17th. We're also running a silent auction from the 10th to the 20th of August, so we're always looking for silent auction um, item donations. Jamie's also hoping people will want to sponsor a hole to help this worthy cause. And I just feel so grateful for the opportunity to work with an organization that has such an impact in the lives of people that are so deserving. Marissa's just grateful for all the help she's received and can't wait to return to in-person school in September for the first time since her diagnosis. Golf tournament registration closes July 15th. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.